it's kind of weird, but headed up to Denver for the first time. I don't know if I said, but I'm actually going to be working up at Greenwood around Denver area this first week of work, just for this week, uh, with little first grade and kindergarten kiddos. And then <laughs> I'm going down to Castle Rock, but I'm going to meet up with Leigh and John today. We're going to go climbing. Uh, just throwing as many names at you as possible. I mean, I can just keep saying co-workers and friends, but I mean, I can't decide what to do. I need, I need a professional opinion here. But um, yeah, basically I'm headed up to Denver. Uh, my friend gave a suggestion where we should go. It should be a pretty shady spot. And um, it's funny because John was saying like, he has a flap around his, the middle of his hand. And so he's like, Oh yeah, I can't really do anything unless it's super crimpy. I'm like, oh, exactly what I want to do. Exactly what I want to do. Okay, fine. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. No, no, no. It, you slip but don't fall, and then it's okay. <laughs> You know, I started at the top of the crag and worked our way down. <laughs> Get a nice zoom in on the farmer sound. Oh yeah, please. <laughs> That's what I want to display. <laughs> Show the world. Cute stairs, cute stairs, cute stairs. Hello. I start work in about nine hours. Super excited. My first co-instructor I'm gonna be working with is, her name is Leia, and yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be fun. Hung out with her and John today. Went to the, to the crag up in Denver. It was super fun. It was like really crowded, but um, it's actually kind of nice because I don't know where anything is. And so I just asked them next to me and they have a whole book that explains where everything is. And then I go on it and I climb and it's fun. And uh, I don't, I, I like when I went climbing with Josh, um, way long ago now, a month, <laughs> so not that long ago, but over in San Diego, there was only one other group of people there, and, you know, I mean, I still ask them, but, like, they're not literally right next to the spot I'm climbing, and so it's like, they're like, oh yeah, go that way, it's over there, but this one, I'm like, I walk up to them, I'm like, yo, I want to climb a 10, and they're like, this one right next to me, I'm like, sick and then we do it but yeah i'm excited to work with lay we're gonna be working with like seven eight nine year olds tomorrow first we're going climbing 
I didn't know what we were doing after that. But, um, yeah, it was kind of funny. Why? Why is it turning yellow? Green bell pepper turning yellow? Yellow pepper identities confirmed. More ripe green peppers. That's what I just learned. But, um, yeah, I was supposed to work over in Denver area with, like, first and kindergartners and um i mean i was excited to be up in denver and meet some new people but um not so much the the kindergartner thing i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit a little, little communication breakdown i think you know had my first day of work yesterday There's stuff on my face but um yeah it was pretty successful didn't have any time to drink my coffee. And I'm sitting here, I was like, let's just see. Let's just see if it's, if I can still drink it. It's still hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was fun. Um, went climbing yesterday. Today we're going mountain biking. Um, the kids were pretty wild kept on threatening a kid that if he didn't stop messing around and like throwing rocks and stuff, I was gonna tie him to myself. So I clipped him to my harness eventually. And he was he was actually like trying to sprint away from me. And so I'm like belaying someone in this hand and I'm holding on to him with the other hand so he's not tugging on my harness. It, I was getting pulled apart. It was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> At one point, he tried to fully wrap himself around me with the, the paracord. It, it was absurd. I never th thought the kid would turn into such a creature. He was like the calmest, like chillest dude. He was just like putting the rope on the bag for me and stuff like that. Turned into an absolute maniac. Hello. Work was good today. Went mountain biking. It's pretty funny. We uh, are climbing specialist. We were with him for two days, and we, before we got out of the car, we introduced him to the kids. We were like, "Guys, this is the Guinness World Record holder for eating the most hot dogs in one day. He's a world champion hot dog eater. He ate 372 hot dogs in one day." They're like, "Oh my god." We are like, you have to call him Hot Dog Man Ryan. That's the only thing he likes to be called. <laughs> and so they're ridiculously hype about him. He's like, oh yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And so <laughs> today, we went, when we were mountain biking, we get out of the car and we tell Ryan to sneak into the trailer while we're parking and I'll like distract the kids or whatever. <laughs> and so he goes and hides in the trailer pretends he's sleeping and so we open it up i'm like guys guys come here like we'll unload all the bikes and he's like pretending to sleep in there he's like oh what, what's up guys is it time to mountain bike they're all like hot dog man ryan what were you doing in there <laughs> oh my god dude. and they got <laughs> they're like I want to watch him get in the trailer when we go back. Like, I, I know he wasn't really in there. <laughs> they get so mad at me when we get back because they're like, "I, you were, you lied to me. You lied to me." <laughs> like, it was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it, dude. <laughs> that, that's it. That's basically the highlights for today. They um, played in the river a bunch. We biked. When I started biking, I wasn't ready for the pace of the kids. I was like looking down at the gears. I definitely like yeeted myself right into some kid. And I was like, are you okay? Like I crashed into him going like moderate speed and he was like completely fine. He was like, oh yeah, I'm fine. Keep on biking. I'm like, Phew. don't have to explain that to someone. Yeah, tomorrow we are kayaking. I'm going to I'm gonna throw every kid into the water at least three times, I'm pretty sure. Also, I really need to take a bath.
before I forget. Ryan Ryan goes goes to go pee with one of the kids, and he's like, "I just wanted to. It's been such an honor to get to spend two days with a Guinness World Record holder." <laughs> Ryan's just dying. <laughs> Yo, tomorrow, tomorrow, John's group is going <laughs> to introduce Ryan to them. He's going to be like, guys, this is <laughs> this is Watermelon Ryan. He holds the world record for smashing watermelons on his head. Like, <laughs> Let's go, dude. We um, did a little slack lining after work tried to teach them some of the little, little tips I got from Star when we were learning. And, um, I don't know, went over pretty well. It's just fun, because they're like, all right, I'm ready to go, and I'm like, all right, one more time on the slack line. And we, like, talk for another, like, 10, 15 minutes. She's like, all right, I'm ready to go now. I'm like, all right, one more time on the slack line. Gets up there, like 10, 15 minutes talking. Literally, like, an hour later, he's like, all right, now I'm going to head out. And he heads out. I don't know. It's fun because it's super like low commitment, super chill, and like head to super low key, just hang out, walk across the slack line, you play the balance game with me. It's like, dude, like I can, I can do that. And like, See the water? Do you know if there's river access anywhere along this road? Uh, keep it going up, there's a little bit. Yeah. Not okay. much of a river, but it's kind of a stream. Just a creek or whatever? Yeah. All right, cool, thank you. No Onward. <laughs> I've just finished a camping, climbing trip over at the shelf, which is in southern Colorado. It's this, like, iconic, like, sport climbing area. There's, like, over 3,000 routes just in this one, like, I don't know, certain sized radius. Ooh, lighting, bad. How's that? Is that better? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's better. And, um, yeah, it's really fun, like, I'm meeting up with this friend that I met at City Rock, the climbing gym I go to in Colorado Springs, and she has all of these random people there that I don't know at all, but we get to the crag and we throw up like six ropes, I'm like, whoa, whoa, like people are running by and they're like, what, what, what are you guys doing here, like they think we're like an, uh, an adventure group or something like that, it's pretty funny, um, yeah, it was a great time, tried to climb some hard stuff that I've never done before, fell off of some 10 D's and 11 A's. <laughs> Someone asked us to help them save a quick draw. They went up on a route and they couldn't finish it. So I was like, I wanna, I wanna save you. <laughs> and so I go and try and I'm like, I, this is too hard. <laughs> I need someone to save my quick draw now. <laughs> so they, I asked our other friend who's a quite strong climber to go up and try. <laughs> boop, 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 climb right up. So now I'm heading back up to Castle Rock. It's about a two-hour drive. I'm gonna meet up with some coworkers. We're going to do some climbing stuff and some cute stuff. That's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, I'll keep you posted. I really have to. Yeah, that's all. Bye.